Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import any of the normal map into Blender 3.3 to make it available for any of your 3D models in Blender 3.3. And now you can see on my desktop I have a texture folder. In this texture folder, I have each kind of the material. The most important one, usually we are going to use the diffuse. Right, you can see this is the diffuse, and then the normal map is something like this. This is the normal map, and we also can call it as bump. And you can see the difference with normal map and without the normal map. It changed the surface reflection of the light. Right now, let's say you already created a 3D model and how are you going to just apply any of the normal map after the diffuse and before that you can just scroll down go to my video descriptions I already put a link in there get materials from polyhabons from this website you can get a lot of the materials and I'm going to show you now this is the polyhabons texture here you can get really a lot. Once you already choose some of the material, and for example, this the pattern break wall. If you want to download here, you choose the resolution as demo. I'm going to, to choose 1K, and here I just choose the zip. And as demo, I'm going to just download the JPG image and and then just Click download. It is going to download as a zip file and finally you have to extract it into the folder. All of this you can you can choose the PNG or you can ch choose the JPG as well. Now everything ready in, in the folder under the texture. And now on my on my desktop here, this is this is a material that downloaded from Polyhavens. Now I'm going to show you how to apply all of these materials. In. And the most important one is the normal map. All right now, I'm going to open my Blender. All right. As demo, I'm going to just delete this cube. Just delete button. And then I'm going to add a mesh. Just example, I'm going to add a UV sphere. The first step, I may just right click it and choose shape smooth. Then click here to show the rendering effect. And now we are going to apply the texture. Click the shading as the first step, shading. Now click plus new. Once you click plus new, then you can see the base color. You drag the base color out here and you search for image image texture color. Click and then click open. It is on my desktop under the texture, the diffuse. The rock war 04 diffuse. Just double click. Now you can see it immediately already added, added a texture like this. So next is the normal. Where is the normal? The normal is here. Drag it out as well. Type image texture. Choose the color and click open. Open. Open this. I'm going to open the normal map. This one. So now click open. And then it is on my desktop under the texture, the normal, this one. Now you can see it already have, have the normal map, all the effect already changed. Now I back to the layout here. You can see it already have certain normal map like this. Click the shading. 
Right, if you go to the layout here, click it and you can click this one. You may want to change the specular to zero. Drag it down. The specular is 0 0.5, you make it become zero. Then, now, back to the shading. Next, maybe you just look at your folder, what else? The, like the displacement map. Maybe you can just find it from here if you want. Or what we call the metallic and specular, the roughness. Right now, we try, try it one by one. For example, now you have the roughness. So you drag down, drag it out the roughness, and then search for image texture color. Click then you open it. It is on the desktop under the texture roughness. This one. Now, what about if we delete the normal map or just unbind the normal map? What is the effect? If I hold the control, I pick it down. Now, without normal map, it just looks like it doesn't change the reflection of the light. Everything is just the same surface. But if you continue to drag the normal map to connect it, now it has certain light reflection that can influence the surface. I back to the layout. I can try to adjust the light. I click this to make sure it is rendering according to the light. Now, right, with the normal map, it can it can render it better and more realistic. Like this. Okay, that's all for today about how to import the normal map into Blender and what is the normal map and how are we going to use it and import it into Blender 3.3 for your 3D models. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation, 3D modeling and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D animation and game developing. See you!